Hello, welcome to today's video. We're about to see the Life and Death expansion trailer drop. I am so interested to see what is actually going to be in this one. Let's hope it's a good one. Let's hope they have a good one. But yeah, the fact that it's life and death. So we've got a little display of Grimm here typing away on his computer. There appears to be, is it a raven? Is it a crow? I don't know, but we're about to find out what is in this pack. Let's get into it. Let's see what this is about, apart from the obvious, of course. Okay, we get some looks at the fashions there and a glimpse of the world. What is that theme, I wonder? Okay, uh, yep, good old bird costume. That reminds me, which fable is it? Is it fable like three or something with a chicken costume? And there's some new hairstyles. There's the tarot cards. I wonder what on earth that is getting at. Aside from, you know, being tarot cards. Oh, no. I mean, what do we expect? But, uh, oh, wasn't there a teaser about new ways for elders to go? That's quite different to what we're used to. Oh, my gosh. That's actually got to me, that one. That's a nice house. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that was sort of, uh, well, that's, they're not lying about the glitches, at least. That is quite a cool trench coat. Oh, my God, the kids. Oh, dear sweet lord. And then was that dude just pulling out a canister of like juice and in inverted commas? And oh, is that actually like a will or something similar? Oh, not happy with it. Not happy. God, that's long overdue, is it not? And pictures of, oh no, she's sad. I mean, oh, that looks really cool, that place. Must confess, the centre of the town looked a bit bland in some ways, but this other stuff that we're seeing looks pretty good. Some more swimming. Ah, uh, the old romance with the ghost there. That is pretty. So she's taken a dip and now she's become a ghost, temporarily by the look of it. Reconnect with family. Just having a dance. Oh, okay, she's dressed like Grim. She's somehow taken on Dem Pow. Oh, no, she is. She's being grim. Are they all working for like a rigid grim, original grim, original grimster? And there's an infant. What is going on? Oh, look at the, oh those swings look cool, don't they? Like the actual old fashioned ones. Oh, she's reminiscing on the past. Yeah, the style of the actual graveyards is good. I'm glad they have that. That's actually quite detailed. Oh, it's so sad though. I mean, I don't know what I expected. Of course it's going to be. And yet still, it's actually, you know, now that you're seeing it here, it actually kind of kicks at home the morbidity of this bad boy, but it definitely adds gameplay. Don't let the infant perish for the love of all. Okay, well, I there was just a little bit of uh, talking. Oh, my God, look at the mournful melodies music box. It's like Grimware and Ballerina would be. We're going to go through this again, obviously, and I will play you because I've turned, because of, like, music and copyright, I turned off. You being able to hear it, but Grim actually says some stuff in English, which will, you know, screw with our heads, but I'll show you that when we get to that bit again. Okay, available October 31st, of course, of course. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. And then we can decide whether just, ah. Now I'm already starting to pull it apart before I've even gone back. It's like, is there enough gameplay? Let's let's see, let's see what we've got. Oh, there's old Grimmy back at his desk again. Okay, so there's Gramps when he's still in the land of the living. Obviously, we've got some sort of a family going on. We'll just take a quick look at this town, yeah? At first, I thought it looked cool, but sort of like some of the others we've had, like the actual structure of it, if that makes sense. Oh, I like these shoes an awful lot. These outfits are not too bad. Like, I like this trench coat. These shoes are great. Actually, no, I don't mind this. When I first saw it, like, I'm not so fond of her ensemble here, nor his, but there is enough here that I don't mind. Shoes specifically good in my books. Okay, what's going on here? This is where they're doing the tarot reading. What on earth? <laughs> so, uh, of course, this begs the question, can we have one of these as a pet? This crow, raven, blackbird, dude, 
We can only hope, or it can maybe not be an actual pet, like I mean, is actually have one. It definitely wouldn't be part of the household like a pet. It'd be more like the chickens or whatever. Why this guy insists on taunting it, dressed as a white version, who knows what's going through his mind, but they seem like they're having a good time nonetheless. And he's getting what he deserves, might I say, and having a bit of a laugh about it there. Got some symbols here. Let's let's go. Oh, you can see, gosh darn it, you can see right now that she's, I assume it's like her grandpa and she's got a good relationship with him. This is a pretty cool fountain here. I guess after the fountain in the last one, that's sort of what made me think it's repetitious, but I like fountains, so I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, what's with the tarot readings here? And of course, we're all thinking about, you know, paranormal stuff, having the, the medium skill. So what do these tarot cards entail let's hope it has an actual point to it like it actually plays out properly and isn't just like the normal card games we see them play or wake the llama or something let's hope it actually they read fortunes a little bit better than that hopefully it's better than the romance guru as well in um city living hopefully it's better than just getting that sort of advice but we'll see i guess ah oh, i don't want to do this bit again but we're gonna have to aren't we oh let's get it over with then Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like, if I say it's nice, you know what I mean? Just like, oh, boy, no, it's not. <laughs> Just the, like, leaving him is nice. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So what we've got so far is is a town uh, tarot cards. We don't know how in-depth or shallow that is. New way for elders to, you know, succumb to mortality in their sleep. It's, that's once again, I say it's kind of nice to have that. I guess it's, especially with the family being around there. I can't wait for one of them to hop on the computer before grandpa's finished completing his uh, succumbing to mortality's curse, you know, and someone will go up and get a sandwich or something as well, knowing the way it goes. But let's keep going anyway. It's a nice thought, we'll say that. And there's, I don't know, I wonder if there's uh, what the lore is behind that dude mountain dude he looks a bit like grandpa but is he is he some sort of ancestor like i'd be surprised if there wasn't law revolving around this we shall see okay okay so is this some sort of a funeral home it looks like we're going to get what we would hope we would get in this pack which is you know funerals at all and you know graveyards at all without having to make our own. Oh, it's got a little photo of him here. It's, oh, I mean, the game really needs this, doesn't it? It's one of those things once again where, you know, it, The Sims is lacking in an area, so it's going to sell you a pack that does it better. But once again, it, it does kind of need, it does kind of need it. I mean, maybe it is good that it's optional though, because this is actually quite intense, isn't it? And it's not for everybody. So now that I think about it, I guess that's sort of the plus of it being a pack. Sort of like cool designs here. These just remind me of like the Realm of Magic ones, I think. This is like, it looks good. Harrowing stuff, of course. Nice grandfather clock, might I say. Oh, look at this portrait of Grimm as well. And this is a cool fireplace. Okay, we'll keep on going here. I'm already starting to be a bit concerned, though, that it's going to not have enough in it. But we'll we'll reevaluate that once we've got to the end of the trailer again. But I'm seeing already that even though what I'm seeing I like the look of, I once again think for an expansion there might not be enough. Although that grim career is going to have to carry it. Okay, let's look at this. So this looks like a service, of course, and this is this where they're placing him to rest. And look, we've got some cannons recycled, but instead of welcoming you into the world, it's going to see you out of it on this occasion. This is nice, isn't it? I guess I'm liking the aesthetics. I guess they're doing the job, aren't they? And here's another sort of, unless he's having like three funerals, it seems like maybe there's a place for a wake as well, because we've got a bar here. So maybe they actually have, you know, the different Oh, if that'd be good if they actually had like the proper ceremony at the gravesite, but then a sort of wake. I'll have to wait and see exactly what that means. Yeah, I am quite liking the decor and furniture, I guess, for the theme of the pack. I do think it's doing the job, and there's one of these things here as well. That's a nice urn. That's pretty too. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely having a ceremony. It looks very cathedral-like, this particular location. Really do like this outfit here for the for the masculine ones. Look at this hairdo over here, an old matey. Got some different hairdos. 
And there she is, really upset because she was close with, I don't know if it's dad or grandpa, but whoever he is, it's a tragedy that he's gone. Let's keep looking. Okay, so she's lighting a candle in honour. And they're consoling each other. The kids just really gosh and gosh on a cracker, I was going to say. That is so sad. I mean, it's good that they put that in that, in that there. Great sentence construction. But that is sad. Is this the little, like, is this the juice flask here? He's tipping it out. Okay. Oh, so it's the actual eulogy. She's composing herself. And now, so we actually have, they're thinking about those sweet simoleons. And we actually have a will, which let's hope that you can actually pass things down to people in different households, like your actual stuff in your inventory or your house. Like, that would be really good. It's always been frustrating you couldn't do that. So she's reading it out and they're about to be unimpressed by that. Like this hairdo here, gotta say. This one's a little bit mullety for my taste, but I'm sure others will like it. Oh, yes, get that conflict going. Oh, no. And there's some pictures on the wall of the family. And the cow plant looks like a ghost in that. And she's getting all depressed while there's a fight going on behind her. And this place, this is interesting. Liv's bucket list. Find the well of longing and regret. Oh, Lord. Soul's journey. Okay. What does this mean exactly? Undiscovered gold. A bucket list. Okay. Is that like sort of like an aspiration? I'm not sure. Liv's bucket list. Okay. Tossing a coin in the well. And this feisty red child is going to come and laugh at you. Spend a day outside. So, okay. Well, a bucket list. So she's trying to tick off a bucket list. Is that's the life part of the life and death? Have an otherworldly adventure. Nice euphemism there. And what's this? Scare the living. Bucket list. I'm just a little bit confused now. Unless this is how you become like one of Grimm's workers is completing this bucket list. Reconnect with family is another one. Do the, some, some dancing. And now, now she's dressed as Grimm and she's being Grimm. So... Does this bucket list, <laughs> the grim face reveal, quit that job. What? Ha! Ah, is that a separate thing? Am I missing something? Infant. Now she's like walking through the graveyards and stuff, which do look really good, I might say. And grieving for grandpa. Oh, but he's come to visit her. Embrace what's next. Strange. Thought he'd stay and master his ghostly powers. He did complete his unfinished business, though. Oh, well, back to work. Who's next? Okay, so did you hear that? So ghosts can hang around, can they, and master their ghostly powers? We all know that they end up going to the netherworld eventually. I thought there was going to be a secondary world here, but maybe there is where the Grimm's sort of are, because we saw, we've seen sort of a thing where people can work as Grimm, but for original Grimm. Hmm. And it says to be continued gameplay trailer October 17th. So I'm assuming that there's other bits of information out there that will sort of shed light on things. Like there'll be the whole like description thing should be coming out now. And then we'll get this gameplay trailer to fill in the blanks as well. So what have we got so far? We've got the town and we've got the tarot cards that may or may not be in depth or shallow and disappointing. We've got funerals and proper graveyards by the look of it and funeral would be an actual event and maybe there's some sort of a wake afterwards, not sure. We've got actual like a last will and testament kind of thing as well and whatever goes along with this bucket list and then we've got like the grim, possible grim career that's an active career. But it got a bit confusing with that bucket list, I must say. It sort of threw me off a bit. So I'm not sure whether it's going to be enough for an expansion ultimately. I think I'm going to have to do the old look at other things jam. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm keen to see more. I am keen to see more of this one. It's definitely missing from the game. But as I had my revelation before, I kind of don't think this will be for everybody because it is pretty confronting. Like, well, at least it is in the trailer. I mean, I know we already have that stuff, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching this one. I hope you have a magnificent day or night and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.